Hey everybody, I've got Mr. Eddie Watkins Jr. on the show today. Welcome, Eddie. Hey. <laughs> I'm happy and grateful, Eddie, to have you on the show today. Um, my introduction to you will have a little bit of a different spin. You have such a long history and mu in music and such a distinguished biography. It's fair to say that Eddie is a superstar in pop music. But listen to this. Because you are such a superstar, you get to do anything you want, any <laughs> genre, whatever. And that really sets you apart because you're able to include new thought themes in your songs. Mm -hmm. So how wonderful it is to be able to write and perform whatever you like including those that those songs that espouse your personal spirituality and have them readily received by your public. Yeah, that's a, it's a beautiful thing. That wasn't my intention originally. Uh, I set out to be a commercial pop R&B songwriter and I had no interest in religious music of any kind. And um, it was because of a life event and an awakening in my personal life that uh, led me into this direction and I've been doing this thought music for the last 14 years. Yeah, and in New Thought, you're you know, highly regarded, number one, totally in the field. Clearly, from the songs that you do, your ministry, your New Thought ministry, is riding on top of your music career. It's yes. fair to say that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it really is. You know, uh, when I first started, it was about trying to sell CDs. And now it's more about trying to sell a message. Yeah, got it. For sure. You're blessed, Eddie. <laughs> Definitely. The theme of today's show is love as a pathway to peace. And how did I arrive at that theme? Well, I had the benefit of some performance videos of Ed, Eddie Watkins Jr. in two concerts, one at Unity headquarters in 2022 as their contribution to a day of world peace and prayer. And the second set of videos are from Mile High Church in 2021. And the the first songs in that set really set the tone for the theme today. Tomorrow, or today, I declare freedom from yesterday, mistakes of the past. Today, all things are made brand new. And don't it feel good to know that all is well and unfolding as it should? I can change my reality by changing my mind. Perfect peace. Joy and happiness is yours and is mine I am blessed and so are you And don't it feel good to know that all is well And unfolding as it should Let me hear you say all is well All is well Divine Spirit is directing me right now All is well I am clear. 
cloaked in the spirit. I am faith by the divine. I am one with all that is. My soul is free from time. I am blessed and so are you. And don't it feel good to know? Don't it feel good just to know that my soul is free from time? And all I got to do is change my mind. I'm free, y'all. Don't it feel good? All is well and unfolding as it What does the word yesterday mean to you? I think I have an idea about that, but I'd like to hear what you have to say. Well, uh, yesterday can mean a lot of different things. It could mean yesterday, like, um, you know, today's Thursday. Yesterday could mean Wednesday. <laughs> yes, but yesterday, sure. could, yesterday could also mean 10 years ago or 20 years ago. You know, so... Um, in the case of a better yesterday, uh, that is a specific, specifically aimed at creating a different past. Uh, and by that I mean, um, well, I'll just give you the premise around the song. Uh, for years and years when I was drinking and I was using and I was doing all of that kind of stuff and trying to get clean, my yesterdays were filled with remorse, remorse and regret and guilt, right? The longer I stayed sober and clean, and the more that I evolved into the person I was supposed to be, each day stacked upon another, I started building a better yesterday. So that's what that whole song is about. It's about 
It's aimed at people who are in the grips of some sort of addiction or it could be abuse, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be like that. And your yesterdays do not have to be filled with regret and remorse. You can make a better yesterday. You can't make a better past, but you can create a better yesterday one day at a time. Exactly. You know, yesterday is a metaphor, if yeah. you will, for mm -hmm. how our life may have been going in the past, but through our new thought spiritual practices, we know it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. Yeah, we, cha we could change our mind. You bet. And arrive at a new place. Well, that's beautiful. So let me say a few words about New Thought Musicians Showcase. We are this show, which runs approximately monthly and is published by Empower Music and Arts and on a number of other um, YouTube pages and channels. New Thought Musician Showcase is also a set of YouTube playlists, the composition of which is song level midi music video clips of the artists. Musician Showcase is also an empowered licensee, and what that means is we gratefully report our plays to Empower Music and Arts and the artists accrue and are paid royalties on this. So it's a great way of compensating the artists. It all adds up, right? And we're happy to do that. Empower Music and Arts, a great resource for the artists and for the churches and other venues. We move from fear to faith. When we gather together to pray, for the healing of this world and the dawning of a brighter day, we move from fear. To faith, we are creating. That works for everyone Yes We're amazing And we've just begun To feel the power And freedom To be who we came here to be as we discover each other and celebrate humanity we are creating a world that works for everyone yes are changing it's a love revolution as we are walking together love is leading the way through the fields of compassion to a world that
as we are walking together. Love is leading the way through the fields of compassion to a world that works for So, Eddie, can we now talk about the world that works for everyone? Yes. Uh, that particular song is pretty um, self-explanatory. It's pretty much aimed at people in our movement, and by our movement I mean the seekers, and people who are studying New Thought Ancient Wisdom Principles. Um, we have a tendency to be more open, more inclusive, um, and it's sort of like a cheerleader song for us. So the words are like, we are creating a world that works for everyone. Yes, we're amazing. And we've just begun to feel the power and freedom to be who we came here to be. And, and what I'm doing is just, it's almost like a cheerleader song for, for us. It's talking about how amazing we are because we are holding that concept that this world should work for everyone. Yeah, and I love the part where it's towards the ending you said, um, as we're walking together, love is leading the way. Yes. That, you know, th through the fields of compassion to a world that works for everyone. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Hey, what are some of the ways that we can act on the compassion that we have? For example, you know, I'm very concerned about the extreme poverty in different parts of the world and that this poverty is sort of allowed by politics and and laws and so forth and addressing poverty for example I have compassion for it but what can I do I can donate to causes certainly what are some of your ideas uh, as far as poverty is concerned about compassion how do we act on our our feelings of compassion Jane it starts in your home and in your neighborhood I think it's about creating a vibration because I don't think you're going to be able to probably leave tomorrow and go dig wells in Africa or something like that but but what you can do is create a vibration and I think that vibration resonates because that vibration has no time or space. So basically becoming that which we, we want to experience, express, and have demonstrated, I think that's the key as far as compassion is concerned. Um, okay, for instance, I just started a, a new position as a director of a, a church here in Florida, right? Uh, we have a choir, have a band, those are the places where you start to practice compassion and you create a compassionate vibration and I believe that's what we can do as far as um, uh, making it a world that works for everyone. There's always going to be uh, poverty but how much of it? What can we do? Sure or whatever it is you know yeah. That, yeah. That, that we're called to be compassionate about. 
Thank you for that. Be compassionate with yourself. Cut yourself some slack. <laughs> there you go. It has to begin with us. It has to. Okay, great. Thank you for that. So here is a sampling of songs by New Thought artists who are Empower Publishers on the same theme as our show today, the theme of love as a pathway to world peace. So how we compiled this list is we searched the uh, song database in Empower by tags and using categories and keywords and the search results uh, we looked at then to organize it by relevance and also by year of copyright. So here's the list and let me call out a few of these that are most relevant to our theme of love as a pathway to peace and have recent copyrights. I'll read a few titles but all of these will be listed in the show more section of the video. So check that out for this list. So I'll just say that there's a lot of good work out there by New Thought Artists. Thank you. And let me just call out a few of these. Uh, certainly Eddie's uh, World That Works For Everyone. That was on our show today. World With A Little More Love by Patricia Bahia. Love Can Move the World by Ma Michael Gott. And these and the last two that I'll mention here are in the newest Empower Multi-Artist Songbook, All Together Now, Love Unfolding by Kim Char Meredith, and We're All in This Together by Deb Chamberlain and Robert Wynn. In doing this research, I found so many songs through the Empower Store Search that I created another list that is, How Can You... I, we, how can we be the change that's needed in the world? And here's the sampling I came up with. Again, I looked at song titles and um, content and, and uh, the copyright song date. So again, I'll read a few titles and these will be listed in the show more section of the video. It's just a sampling, representative, it's a lot of good work going on by the artists. So here we have Love Unfolding by Chim Kim Char Meredith again. We have You Are What the World Needs by Mark Arnold. I Declare My World by David Washington and What Kind of World by Daniel Namod. So thanks to our artists. So I thought I would run through several of the songbooks that I found these songs in. And two of them are from Empower and one is available from Hal Leonard. So the first step is All Together Now. This is positive, uniting songs for group singing, that is congregational singing. This is one of the newer songbooks, the newest in fact from Empower 2021-2022. And it's available at the Empower website, the link of which will be in the Show More section of the published video. Anyone can join Empower and use their store to buy songbooks, lead sheets, uh, MP3s, uh, and so forth, Empower Music and Arts. The next songbook up is 60 Songs for Social Change. Given the title of today's show, um, I thought this was fitting and I looked and found several songs uh, that we played today as well. In 60 Songs for Social Change through Empower Music and Arts. And then we have 101 Inspiring Songs. This is a, a New Thought fake book that was produced by Charlene Roberts and Doug LeBeau. And Doug LeBeau is a pretty uh, famous music director, artist in his own right, and producer. So you'll want to pick this one up too. 
Inspiring Songs, New Thought Fate Book, Hal Leonard. So thanks to our publishers. I thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. So it's my pleasure to introduce Eddie Watkins Jr. who's here with us tonight. Eddie is an incredible musician, incredible songwriter, incredible soul. Uh, Eddie started out with Motown when he was still in high school. And then he went on to play some of the most iconic bass lines in Motown and disco. Um, so I would like first to tell you that Eddie is joining us from Florida where he lives now. He hasn't been with us since 2017. So at long last, please welcome Eddie Watkins Jr. How y'all doing? Good, let's do this. One, two, three, four. God is, I am, right here, right now. Right here, right now. God is, I am. God is, I am. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. God is I am. God is I am. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. God is I am. Right here, right now. God is I am. God is I am. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. God is I am. Right here, right now. God is I am. God is I am. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. God is I am. God is I am. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. God is I am. I am. I am. On a prior show in March 2022, a year ago, on the topic of God is, I am, we included a music video of your song by the same title, God is, I am. Mm -hmm. And here we are a year later with another show that actually features you in your songs. How great is that? Yeah, well, I think it's two different God is, I am, because I wrote one that was on my first CD and it was a slow meditative sort of a song and then I redid it last year and made it turn it into like more of a, a dance song cool but it's the same song uh, tell me tell us a little bit about some of the CDs that you have out if you would <laughs> Well, uh, my first CD, The Answer, um, was when I first started doing this New Thought music. And uh, well, first of all, all of these CDs run in parallel with events that are happening in my life. So The Answer was at a time when I was looking for answers. And it was my first New Thought CD, and it was my first attempt 
to do a CD sober. So I got sober in 95. So in a couple of years, it'll be 30 years. So anyway, but that was uh, the turning point for me, the answer. And the songs on that was like, uh, uh, God is all there is, the answer, this door is open to you, songs like that. My second CD, though, which is called We Come Together, that was when I uh, took a job at the First Church of Religious Science in Las Vegas. Woo! <laughs> and uh, my minister at the time, Reverend Doug Vogelsong, he knew that I had a background in Motown and R&B and pop music, so he assigned me with writing songs uh, for a congregational, sing-along, offering, and stuff like that, right? So that's how the song We Come Together was born. And I wrote a song uh, that, uh, that I had worked on for a long time, and then we did it at the service, and the song was so bad. I cringed when we did it. And, and then the second service, so I wrote this We Come Together, in between services, you know, so, <laughs> so because the first one was so horrible, I said, oh, this sucks, man. So I said, well, I have to simplify it. So I said, how can I make a simple song that will uh, say that we come together in the name of love? Well, why don't you call the song We Come Together in the Name of Love? <laughs> so that's how that song was born. And on that uh, CD was uh, We Come Together, uh, You and Me, um, and a lot of congregational type songs because that was what I was assigned with. You know, and my third CD, which um, was um, And So It Is, had the song God Is I Am, I Fly, um, you know, songs like that. Which is some of my most fam uh, popular songs was like I Fly, which was written by Michael God, actually. And um, so anyway, and, 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 and it goes on and on and on. It, it parallels the different things that have happened in my life. Okay. Well, as I, as I talk about songs, you tell me what, what CD they're on. Okay, you'll tell the okay. audience here. All righty, because you have such a long history. It's true. And, you know, you mentioned playing a Michael Gott song, that's one of the beautiful things about New Thought. We can share our songs through songbooks and lead sheets through the organization that sponsors this show, which is Empower Music and Arts. Mm -hmm. They're a wonderful partner for artists mm -hmm. and churches, by the way. Yes. So, all right.
into this place Eddie can you talk to us about into this place yeah into this place is metaphoric as well because I'm not saying about into any physical place although it could be that as well but into this place, I'm speaking of into your spiritual center. So we all come to a place where, at, at times where we surrender to some thing or someone or some situation or whatever, you know. Um, my mother passed away 9-11 last year sorry thank you and mourning sorrow healing all of those kind of things they take their own time you know but uh, reconciling all of that within I think is is the key and that's what that song is about is when you come to a place where you realize that it's all love it's all God so love has come into this place and then the surrender of it is peace has come into this place which is into my center into my heart and then there's joy yes i i saw that and i hear that it's a lovely progression and the particular recording from mile high church with tom litch accompanied oh god yes and by the mile high band uh, that was you know that song just it just had uh, there was a certain reverence about mm. that it was you know beautifully done i think it really captures your attention and and brings you into that sacred place yeah doesn't it yeah just listening to that that music video aren't music videos wonderful yes <laughs> they are <laughs> I mean, they used to be popular, but now they've come back into it uh, with everybody's YouTube channel. It's just wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Now I'd like to talk about some of your projects, um, some of the focal points that you have. Can you say a little bit about this new project that you have, Eddie? Yeah, this, um, this Some Enchanted Evening uh, CD is... A collection of songs that I did with my band in LA because for years before I even got into New Thought I had a very successful band in Los Angeles and uh, you know we did uh, weddings and corporate parties and bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, all sorts of stuff and during that time I discovered these beautiful songs that they call standards like the Teach Me Tonight, Twilight Time, Under the Boardwalk I fell in love with these songs and um, decided to start recording them on the job. So most of the songs on that CD were recorded live. And uh, I thought it was a wonderful way to stay in touch with my fans and to let them know that uh, that there's a whole other side 
in a whole other range that they can enjoy if they love my music. Sure. Oh, so rem romantic songs like What Are You Doing the Rest of Your Life? Unforgettable, Moon River, you know. Um, those songs are timeless. So, Eddie, do you have some upcoming events to talk about? or? Oh. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much stuff coming up. A lot of it, is, a lot of it is local here in Florida that we're doing um, with uh, UCF S FL, um, and that's the Unity of Central Florida, is where I'm a member. I'm on staff now. We're doing a bunch of stuff. We're getting ready. We're just uh, closing up the uh, Black History Month, uh, and next month we are actually going to be doing an interface service at SeaWorld. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited about that. But far as Unity is concerned, uh, I've been um, asked to perform at the Unity Conference in June. So that's the next big thing that's coming up. So I'll see you guys there at the end of June. Wonderful. Okay, Eddie, well, thank you so much for participating in the show today. Well, thanks for the invitation, Jane. <laughs> and to our audience, there's a lot of information in the Show More section of the published video. That's where we have links to Eddie, the fan page that we've put together for Eddie, which is a YouTube playlist. Yeah, thank you and very much for that. That was very, very cool. <laughs> so, so thank you, Eddie. You're welcome, Jane. Got a little something, little something only you can bring. It's a puzzle, put it all together. Need every piece to make it complete, yeah. Every note will make a symphony. All the voices sing in harmony. All the colors of the rainbow shine in everyone, everyone. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes to a world with a little more love. Like a tiny little grain of sand What you do, what you say makes a difference Go ahead and reach out your hand Open a door, say hello Stranger today, you might get to know them. Little love just keeps on growing Change a life without even knowing Say yes, say yes, say yes Takes everyone, everyone, everyone To make a world with a little more love Only human, only human. 
heart of generosity we can fill every need because when i give to you i give to me what we give we shall receive because we're all in this together together we stand our source again so together we grow and together we stand and co-create our sacred plan cause we're all in this together together in truth we're all in this together together in trust we're all in this together Yeah, yeah. 